Hi, my name is Anna Young. I'm the co-director of the Little Devices Lab and the International Design Center at MIT. I came to MIT in 2009 to be part of the team who was teaching MIT students uh, the first medical device design class where we were addressing challenges in global health um, environments and extreme environments. So I, at the time, like I had a background, I was coming in from um, having worked on actually on some of these similar projects in Central America. So it was really exciting for me to be able to introduce MIT students to these environments that were so remarkably different from the healthcare systems that they had experienced in the US, but at the same time had so many exciting challenges and potential partnerships for them to dive into as engineers who are learning different skills and techniques. It was also really exciting for me to land at MIT and find a peer group of people who were equally as excited about addressing not only the technical challenges in medical device design for extreme environments, but also the human side. What does it mean to create a device in a platform so that nurses in remote parts of Central America can be a part of that experience not just as the focus group and giving feedback, but actually as creators and prototypers and tinkers alongside. So coming to MIT and finding peers who were, were also working with that same ethos was really exciting for me. So my academic background is in economics and finance. And when I came to MIT, I was not the expert in medical device design or prototyping, but was very excited to bring the skills that I had, the questions that I had, and almost the inexperience to work within this team and learn these different techniques. I think it says something about a combination of the environment at MIT, but also in the tools uh, and design platforms that have come in is that somebody doesn't necessarily need a training in engineering in order to be able to take and contribute and make and prototype things. And it's something that for me as not having trained a formal training in engineering really resonates with some of the clinicians who we partner with, like that they, they are medical device tinkers, makers, designers. They don't necessarily need to have that in their title. They just the notion of, are you curious? Are you experimenting? Are you problem solving? Are you doing things with your hands? All of the things that MIT teaches that I felt that from the moment I walked in the door and was able to thrive as a non-expert in the space and build those skills and competency in a really unique way that expands that culture from beyond the walls of MIT. The Little Devices Lab believes that anybody can make medical technology and it's our mission here at the lab to design the tools and platform that enable that to happen. So sometimes that looks like a construction set kit shipped to make a medical device. Other time that looks at what are novel ways that we can you know, reinvent the biotechnology R&D process. And the other side of what we do is actually study what's happening at the point of care. What are the things that are already being made and how can we support and elevate that and introduce technology that they wouldn't for fabrication, for design, that people wouldn't even otherwise know about.